Hi guys, hope you are well. Hey Samari, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Today, I'll show you the professional retouching in Photoshop. So let's open up the photo, go to the file and open up. I already downloaded this photo for the practice purpose, this photo. Okay. In from the layer menu, just make a copy like this. So I'll make two copy, one and two. One will be for the highlight and another one will be for the shadow. So HNS for the highlight layer, going to the blending mode and going to the screen and going to the blending options. From here, you will get two slider, which is the underlining layer. One slider is for highlight and one slider is for the shadow. So I'll just make this slider slides like that press alter option button to divide this one and find out the proper highlight area from the face and hit ok mask it out after that going to the image and then apply image in this portion will do nothing the default will be like that and hit ok after that select the shadow layer and turn it on going to the multiply for the from the blending mode and going to the blending options and then we'll work with this slider find out the shadow area press alter option button to divide this slider and find out blend it properly after that mask it out and after masking that going to the image and apply image in this portion make this one invert just because of shadow is opposite of highlight Selecting this two layer, making in group by pressing here in a group and then mask it out. After masking that, going to the image again and apply image. In this case, I'll uncheck the invert options and hit OK. So let's see the before and after. A dash and burn, that means the shadow and highlight properly appeared from the face. This face was flat and this one is like a shadow and highlight properly. If this portion or any portion might be uh, overexposed, here is slider to adjust the opacity properly. So this one is good for my case. After that, going to the adjustment layer, and from here I'll choose the color lookup. In this portion, I'll apply the Kodak, any of the Kodak which one is uh, really nice i'll choose this kodak it will provide you the cinematic look and in this portion i'll make the fill color 60 or around 70 percent that's good and after that going to the photo filter from the this menu adjustment layer menu and changing the color from here okay that's fine i would like to provide this type of color which is really near to the cinematic or exact the cinematic let's see in the before one before one was like that and after one you're getting like that and again going to the adjustment layer and going to the levels options from here I'll adjust the little bit of tone or levels like that so I want to make this one more cinematic that's good and now all the things will make in a group before making this one group just unlock the lock and uh, selecting all the layer by pressing shift and making this one in a group and making this one into convert to smart object so the reason of making smart object is you can easily access this one by pressing the smart object and it will open up new window you can change it up from any time okay i'm not done saving this one right press and providing a color for recognizing future change that's good and now going to the filter and going to the camera filter in this portion will provide some texture extra texture actually skin texture is more important for the editing and here I'll change a little bit of contrast adding over there 
and blacks little bit up down that's good the hair is little bit up down and adding some shadow little bit that's good and going to the color grading you know what's the meaning of color grading color grading means the shadow color mid-tone color and the highlight color meaning in this photo you are getting the highlight over there and the mid-tone in this area and shadow over there so what color will be it defines with this color grading and these changes uh, options in your hand okay here is hue hue means which color will be defined with the hue and saturation percentage of that color that means when you are selecting the shadow just adding little bit of value of saturation that means you can provide the 15 percent and you can change up by adding some color okay not this yeah i would like to use this color and here is the luminance you can luminance this one and blend it out and the balance like that that's fine and the mid-tone color i would provide here like 15 percent of the saturation that means the 15 percent of color and mid-tone i'll provide like that and here is the balance options you can balance it up let's see the previous before and after that's good and now the highlight color highlight color again i'll provide here 15 and then which color will be i have to define from here and blending options i would blend from here and let's see the before one and after one and hit the ok button that's fine we got our desired result and this one is the easiest way to make your photographs more stand out if you get more information and learning from this tutorial i would suggest you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and give me a like over there thanks for watching